this amazing talent in Athens, and he promised to come visit us in Toronto. Welcome back, Master Tempo. Well, you were in my neighborhood first time, so I'm in your neighborhood the second time, and that's the best to, to see both worlds. I'm excited. Are you excited to be here? I'm so excited because I also learned that my recipe was a big hit with yeah. your show and the people on it. And it was uh, my favorite thing. Well, which city should we meet next time? We um, should meet in a neutral place. Like neutral? you were in my home, uh -huh. I'm in your hometown now. Mm -hmm. Let's meet like, I don't know, Tokyo. <laughs> Tokyo, or I have another idea, because I know you filmed in Miami. Oh you yeah, You have yeah. a hit song that you, I saw the video clip. You got... I love Miami. Yeah, you got really it's into got, that video clip of Miami. It's got a crazy story, <laughs> which I haven't said to anyone, but you might be the first one. We might make uh, an exclusive today. Okay. So, sorry. <coughs> Listen, when you're uh, next to such a beautiful girl, choking up is the easiest thing. Pete, you know what? You could become my matchmaker. What do you think? I could. You, yeah. you think so? Are you good at that? Well, if I'm good at that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, basically, you're you're asking if I'm a good wingman to another. Uh, oh. I mean, I'm a good wingman. I'm. A, I want uh, guys are like that. Guys want to help other guys get the girls they want. Girls have uh, have the exact opposite reaction. Where if you're with a girlfriend yeah. and you like a guy, she's gonna be like, "No, we came here together. We're gonna live together. <laughs> you no, you can't live with him." That's the. It's the exact opposite reaction. We can we can sleep on a park bench outside our house if it's gonna help our friend. If my friend is gonna be helped by me giving him. Me, him. Even my even my home, I'm gonna I'm gonna be out outside strolling the streets for hours just as he can be with the girl he wants. Pete, that's how guys are. Do you think that's cultural though, because you're from Greece, or is that no that, no that's a guy girl thing. I've lived through it in uh, many uh, in continent in different continents, not just in different uh, places. I think it's a it's a it's a different way of reaction of uh, girlfriends yeah. of girl. Of yes. friends, friends of girls, girls be yeah. between girls, yeah. and guys between guys. Really? Guys always want to help their 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 fellows. They don't care if uh, their friend leaves them alone. They okay. don't care if uh, wh whatever happens. They want to uh, help them if no. they. How about if two guys? Yep. They like the same girl. Oh. Dime la verdad. Tell me the truth. I'll tell you the truth. Yes. Uh, uh, basically, uh, if they're really good friends, yeah. somebody's gonna. Uh, 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 back out I mean I, I, I haven't really lived through a situation where uh, where this becomes a conflict uh, on the other hand in girls uh, I've seen uh, once again uh, the reaction of if one girl has a really good relationship with a guy mm -hmm. sometimes her friend pursues him because she learns that this, this is a good situation or whatever it's like Jealousy is more prevalent around girls, I think. I, I, I mean, I, I've, I've, that's what I've lived that's through. That's what you've lived. Uh, if, uh, if a guy is really happy, we're happy for him. If a girl is really happy, sometimes, not all the time, the other girl might be a bit jealous and... Um, and uh, uh, beep happens. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a little sabotage involved or something like yeah, this of this yeah. nature. But we like to always think the best, especially for... Canadian girls because before we start this interview you told me that you think we're awesome right well listen I'm gonna tell you the God's honest truth my truth tell me I've been here uh, so so little time in, yeah, okay. in, in, in Toronto especially Sorry. I'm here and the people here were really cool and really into what I was doing but also there were very many very beautiful girls and uh, this is uh, where, uh, on the outtakes, because I was coughing, I told you something that I'm going to say again. Uh, I got an exclusive for you because I haven't said it anywhere. Uh, I fell in love here in the few hours that I were here. And the song I wrote for Miami, I wrote it because of a girl from here, from Toronto. Because I did go via, uh, uh, via Copes to Miami. Via Copes means holidays, yeah, vacation. Yeah, right? I did go on vacation with her to Miami. I did have the best uh, time of my life. So I always write from what I've lived through. People cannot really fathom that easily because, like, 
while why he's is he writing about Miami since he lives like in Athens? But for real, I was like three days in Miami was the best days of my life, and I was really in love with that girl. And I, I was supposed to come here; she was supposed to come back to Greece or whatever. So I wrote it for her, mm -hmm. uh, and she was supposed to play in the video clip as well. But uh, uh, things went really south <laughs> at some point. So we just left with a song, okay. but uh, it's something that happened in uh, like this here. So the town must have something like a love bug. Oh, magnetic. I think we are a little bit magnetic here. We're very friendly, right? Canadians are known to be very friendly. Now, Petromo, did you ever cook for her? Because I know it was a shorter well, relationship, Well, you do. Right? If, if somebody has, has seen the previous uh, show, they must know about me that I, uh, I unfortunately don't cook. Okay. So your first recipe was for my mother. Your yeah. second recipe is going to be for my mother. Okay. And there ain't going to be no recipes for me. My my uh, <clears throat> kitchen hardware yeah. is just there as a as a table or a, or a shelf. <laughs> and if it ever lights up, it's yeah. because of uh, uh, maybe I don't know some girl in my life who's really into doing something for me. I'm, I I don't cook. I'm not proud of that. Uh, but uh, I wanted to be fluent in other things, basically about my work or whatever, okay. and I never got into that. But girls have cooked for you. You told me that the first time. Yes, you, you do yes. like that. So if you want to get to Petros' heart, everybody here, likes that. That's not about Petros. That's I mean that's a saying, right? It's like uh, get through a man's heart through the stomach. Right. But you know what? Nowadays the rules have changed, Petro. Mo, I have to tell you. So I've met guys that say, you know what? I just care if she's hot. I don't really care. <laughs> we'll just do take. Oh, you know. So you have the traditional values. Say it here. You do like it when the girl. Comes. Well, listen. Uh, every time it has happened, yeah, and uh, it was something that I really appreciated. Yeah. And at some points in my life, when I was living in Thessaloniki, uh -huh. uh, I might have a relationship which was more. Um, Intimate and she was like uh, staying with me sometimes or uh, okay. all the time or whatever. Uh -huh. And at that point, uh, I was always a workaholic. Mm -hmm. So, for a guy who's like trying to work uh, almost 20 hours a day, to have somebody who's like who's doing some things in the house so that the house is a really a house, uh, a home, so that oh. the house is really a home, mm -hmm. uh, um, th uh, that is so deeply appreciated. Yeah. But, Romo, since we're talking about food, if let's just say you had a little bit more time next time and I or I met somebody that could for, cook for you, tell me the food that you would want as right. a surprise. Okay, tell me. Well, what would you love? You come home and it's a surprise meal. What is it? No, if it's a surprise meal, it's got to be a surprise meal. I mean, uh, I would leave it up to the person uh, okay. uh, doing the cooking. Now, if, if it's somebody that knows me and has yeah. uh, lived through some uh, stuff with me, Probably they would know something that I don't like or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, which okay. is not that much. But uh, I'm, uh, I would leave it up to them so that it would really be a surprise if somebody okay. wants to do something like that for me. Well, you got somebody, you know. I mean, oh, there's well, there there somebody who's uh, eager. I have somebody in mind. Yes. Oh, do yes. you? And I have to say that I'm going to say it on air. There is one recipe that's known that when you cook for a man, he falls in love with you. For real? Yeah, I have tried it. Okay, and this works. It's a secret recipe. You make it for a guy. Are you sure it was a recipe and not you? <laughs> no, listen. You sure about I'm, that? It's I'm, like I'm sure. That, that's for after dark. That's for Star Foodies after dark. The second part. <laughs> now we're Star Foodies during the day. Okay. I promise it's a good recipe. Uh, Petro Mu, what are you working on these days? I want to know. I know you had that awesome track that you did in Miami. Yeah, it was like, uh, but supposedly I should have uh, released the track uh, huh. before I came here. But the preparations, I'm going to have six, song, six, six uh, uh, shows in North America and there are a lot of shows. I mean, I mean I'm uh, singing uh, here in Toronto and then I'm doing uh, Tarpon Springs, Maya uh, Miami, uh, New York, uh, Boston and then Orlando. So okay. I had to do a lot of preparations for that and I, and I didn't have time to finish. My new song. If we want to hear more of you, where are you posting all your stuff these days? YouTube, you're doing, I know you're big on Instagram. He's got a great Instagram. You're still doing stuff on Facebook so we can catch up to see where you're playing, where you're performing. Of course. Okay. So I do have some more surprises for you. <laughs> so it's happy birthday <laughs> to Master <laughs> Tempo. Oh, from from everybody here at Star Foodies and Logo. Thank you, Louis, so much <laughs> for coming through. Happy, happy. birthday to you. Happy
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Master Temple. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. <laughs> We're gonna make some amazing stuff today, okay? Ah, ouais, chante vous aussi. <laughs> I'm so happy to be working with you today, and I have brought you, which I know that you know, I spoke to Greek rapper Master Tempo, Master and Tempo. I got you a seafood recipe, oh, octopus with pasta. We're gonna keep it pasta. gangster, and we're gonna keep it, you know, we're gonna, <laughs> welcome to Penthouse Catering, actually. Thank you for having me, and I'm um, really excited to learn this recipe from you today, Chef Russell, because yeah. I have never made octopus in this way. We had it for season on the show, Thank you, Yvonne, for that recipe. And this season, Master Temple, very baby. cool uh, Greek rapper. Yeah. And he was just visiting us with us here in Toronto, and he gave me this recipe. And I thought, you know what, Chef Russell, you're the man to teach me how to make it. Well, I mean, I, I looked over the recipe. I, I really enjoy. I, I I actually do love um, octopus. Okay. Um, when I when I was uh, working in Italian restaurants, we used to have this sometimes on the menu. I love working. I love the texture. Um, but in his recipe, he had some ways that was very specific to doing things. But then I knew there were other things I think that would like, you know, heighten it and get it a little bit more on that. Let's bring the tempo up. You know what I mean? Let's bring that tempo up. So that's what I tried to do with this today. So, okay. um, so what I want you to see, because actually you have a olive oil. Uh, Governor olive oil. I've fallen in love with this product because it's a premium gourmet. This is not any regular olive no, oil. No. This is a gourmet olive oil yeah. and it's super healthy, which is the most important. It's good for our health. Do you know that I start my day off every day with a little bit of this? Wow. Yeah. And so would you be cool to try it with me here? Okay, yeah, so yeah, I've got 100%. a couple shot glasses here. Okay. This is basically good for everything, Whoa. including belly fat, anti-inflammatory, so you the works. take a shot of this every... Every day I start with this. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. What do you think? It's very smooth, very You nice. feel the peppery punch here? I do. I... Okay. Actually, I'm getting a little bit more. We're actually using the olive oil as the sauce. Oh, so wow. what we're doing, we're not doing a tomato sauce. We're not doing some cream sauce. We're doing an alio olio sauce. Okay. okay. So an alio with some garlic and some oil. That's what it comes down okay. to, right? So um, we're also infusing because it is seafood. Um, we have some different things that, are, that happen here. So let me, let me just show you what we did here with okay. our octopus. So um, octopus, just so you know, for, for your those who are watching, um, it's, it's, it's kind of like a tough meat. You need to... Um, boil it down a little bit so i would say you want to boil it halfway so it's kind of like saying something that's like al dente you want to cook it you want to boil it down halfway take it out put it in an ice bath let it cool okay but it's not edible yet it's only halfway cooked mm -hmm. then you want to cut them however you want bite-sized pieces on a bias whatever you want to do whatever okay. fancy and then from there you want to sear it off Okay. okay, so you want to finish it off so it's here, so then, then when you're eating it, it's not like gummy. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah, because that's that. octopus you can eat. So you want it to be something that you can chew in. Okay. So we did that. Then what I have here is a brine almost with the uh, olive oil. Mm -hmm. and um, But we add, I, I did add some calamity olives, some other olives. And I also, I love artichoke. And I love artichoke, a little bit of the oil from the artichokes too. Okay. And then we have some grated ginger, some grated garlic all that stuff and then we brine it and let it be for 24 hours so this is already done oh. in our in, in, in our bowl and then we can just cook it and then add our okay. pasta to it okay, okay perfect so yeah. we've marinated this for 24 hours yeah. you're ahead of the game okay you're <laughs> yeah. ahead of us here okay yeah. so what's next so then what we have is uh, so we will cook it off but okay. i want you to take a look at this pasta that we have here so um my friends there my sponsors my family at queen's pasta take a look this is something very different this was actually made for today Okay, so oh, wow. it was custom made, and I told them what I was doing with this uh, for uh, Master Tempo's thing. So if you take a look here at this pasta, you will notice it's kind of a spaghetti, linguine, but there's oh. a blackness to it. Do you see that? I can, I can smell it. Can you? Yeah. And? Yeah, it has a seafood smell to it. Very good. Yeah. Very, very good. So this is actually squid ink, not ink. So if you look at squid when it's raw, there's a patch at the bottom of, from the head that's down that's black. So we reserve all of that 
from the patch of the squid and then we break it up we spank it up and then we infuse it inside the pasta so you get that fish taste as well wow this will help with the flavor of that okay. to make it a really nice fishy pasta that's such a nice addition to the dish 100 yeah. 100 and you know what i also have some arugula here some fresh arugula i love arugula, I love arugula. okay so the yeah. bitterness of that will help cut some of that fishiness after we're going to toss yeah. into our pasta gotcha. so it's not a garnish it's going to actually be in the pasta okay when we sit down and enjoy it okay beautiful yeah. So what's our first step to cooking? Okay, so our first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna have to drop our pasta because after that drops, we're gonna start cooking, okay? okay. So what we wanna do, we want to, if you can, drop it into one of here. So yeah, okay. just use your hands, just use this your hands. This is for one person? Yeah, this Chef is good Russell? for one. This is actually, you know what? I would say two. Yeah, right, right. here? Yeah. Okay, so let that be. That's gonna cook for a couple minutes. And then... <laughs> yes, you will. Do you hear that? Yeah. That's what you need to hear, okay? So we're gonna let that be. Okay. okay. I'll just move that aside to you. And keep the tongs. Okay. All right. And we're gonna let this cook. All right. So what do we have? We have uh, a medium heat. Uh, it's gonna cook really quickly. Okay. Uh, as we're doing this, uh, another thing that people do a lot that I see at home or in my cooking classes is that they're always moving the food. That's what I'm. They're doing. They're always doing this. Okay, moving it. Why are you moving the food? Because we're bored. Well, when you're taking a tan, I mean, I don't need to. I'm naturally tanned, right? But if you're, if you're anyone that takes a tan, do you sit in there and turn yourself all day? Or do you sit there and like, let me cook? That's what food, if food could talk to you, it would say, let me cook. Stop moving me around. So let it be. Let it do its what thing. What is it doing? Because my mom always yells at me too because I'm moving it around. Are we killing the process when we're moving it around? Well, how good or how well would your tan be if you're in a tan right. and you're just... It's never in the same place long enough to cook well. Right, so okay. timing is everything, okay? okay? So uh, even though I have my artichokes, I have some olive oil, and we have this beautiful olive uh, oil here, even though I mean like I literally have olives in here, these octopus, remember, is it raw? This octopus has been marinated for uh, overnight. But is it totally raw? No. Because we parboil, so it's already halfway cooked. Okay. We're just searing it right now, it's gonna cook really fast, oh. okay? So oh, you'll you know when it's done by tasting it. What do you think? What do I think the way it looks? Wait, how do you know it's cooked? By looking, by looking. By looking, what am I looking for? Exactly, so what are you looking for? So right here, if I had a piece of octopus here. Okay. All right, so it went in the pan like that. Yes. It's gonna start to curl. Okay, so it's just like us. If we were getting cooked, you know, we would curl up because we're like we're getting we're bending over, right? Okay. So once it starts to bend over, it's good. Okay, so that's Any why. Any change in color, Chef Russell? Yeah, it will. If you look here, it's a lot darker. It's a lot deep purple, deep red right okay. there. Okay. So we're almost there. We're almost done. We're gonna check on our pasta. Okay. Okay. So what I need you to do? Don't worry about using the same tongs. We're using the same food. So I just need you to give it a toss inside. Go ahead. I'll check your sauce. It's getting softer. Yeah, it's getting there. And we always want what? Uh, chewy pasta. We want al dente. Because that it's going to go in there. Yeah. It's going to go in there, right? So it's always to the tooth. It's a little bit hard because okay. when it's going in here, it's still... Cooking. That's right. So, so now I'm gonna never overdo we on never overdo pasta. because we want to finish it off in here. Okay? And I was just gonna say I'm just about to throw it all on the wall, yeah. see if it sticks. Well, you don't need to <laughs> you don't need to do that. So they'll come with your tongs, take a look, take a toss, okay, it's good. So what I want you to do is lift up like that. Okay. Bring your water. Okay, so see how we did that? Okay, so you're gonna be like this. Let your water drain. Uh, inside. Look okay. at that! Alright. First day on the job. Alright. And if you notice. We're doing it this way. We're not straining our pasta or losing all that. We can reserve our water and cook pasta all day, just like in the restaurant. So that is true. You do keep that yeah, water. Yeah, of course, because in the restaurant, imagine dumping your water out. It takes another 45 minutes to an hour to boil new water again. Oh. We always have it in all these different, uh, however you want, right? And then let's do some of this. You're fancy shaking here. Okay, you're gonna do it now. Oh, really? Okay, hold on, let me get all the rags. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stand all right. back. <laughs> all right, so watch, you're gonna take it to the lip. What is the lip? Right here. And what do you do? You bring it back. You're not doing this. You're just going forward and back. I did have an experience with this with eggs. All right. Okay, see. In the next episode we'll do together, I think I'll, I'll have it down. Two hands, no worries. Bring it to the lip and then bring it back. 
What do you think? Bring it back. Not bad. Very good. Very nice. Hold on. We're missing some ingredients there. Okay, because what did we have to cut some of the fishness? Uh, arugula. arugula. Okay, so now what I need you to do is Keep we'll shaking. take that back. Yeah, bring it back. So we're going to plate this soon. Are we going to commercial? Are we good? Okay, I think we should take a break. So okay. then you can do a little bit more work. We're going to do watch. some plating and then we're going to try and that's okay. it. Okay. Ready to see the final reveal. Let's all right, see here. all right. So, Master Tempo, I hope you enjoy <laughs> this, man. This is my my take on your recipe. So, what we're gonna do right now? We're just going to plate our food. Okay. So, I'm just gonna bring this over here. Let's see move this around. Make it a little easier. All right. So, always, you want to do this always like this. So, okay. you always want to get your tongs. Always with tongs, not a spoon, not a spatula, mm -hmm. not forks. Use your tongs. Your tongs are your your third arm so then right here get your pasta inside give it a twirl okay. so you can give it some height all right and then use some of your top ingredients I see you again in my star food is future thank you so much would yes. you be happy to join me again? I would I would honestly love to have you back there at Penthouse Catering okay. and do some more stuff um, this is my passion this is what I love to do and you're so great I mean we have great chemistry I'd love to do this again it's a date ciao au revoir take care look at my kukula Bravo. We talked a lot about relationships on the show. We talked about <laughs> recipes that will win the other person's heart. So hearts. is this how I find my, like, what is it? What are you guys were talking about? Well, we're, I have a secret recipe. It's called puttanesca. That's how you get all the men to come to the, you know that one, right? Puttanesca? Tell me what that is because I've got my own. Well, puttanesca, the true story is the ladies that were needed to make some extra money on the side, I don't know, whatever you want to call them, okay. would make puttanesca after the men would go to the bars and on their way home, these um, freelance entrepreneurial okay. women okay. would make something called puttanesca. It even sounds dirty, yes. puttanesca, yes, right? Yes, that's okay. So puttanesca is fish base, okay? So it's actually, when I say fish base, it's actually, um, hold on, let me just make sure we're good okay. here. All right, so it's actually anchovy base. They do it with spinach, they do it with garlic. Okay. Um, it, it's an alio, so it's very similar to this. Okay. And men, for some reason, from drinking all night in town, going home, the woman would make this, open the windows, and the men would, it would draw the men. This is That's so... a story that's from what my, from my teachers this have is told me. Yeah, Oh my god, you liked <laughs> it! Yes. You know Kukla, yeah! Of course I know Kukla! All my Greek guys would be like, Rasa, look at Oh, you're my Kukla, don't oh worry. <laughs> you're my Kukla. Oh, behind the scenes. So, Star oh, Foodies, no. up to Pasta, part two. Sorry, no, it's part three. The reveal. Oh, Get it out. Oh, that's his mark. You gotta call. Wait, how do you use it? He goes under, you go over. There we go. No. Yeah. Oh, but that